Thanks, Phil. This year marks the 20th anniversary since the final version of our Constitution was adopted as Act 108 of 1996. Our Constitution marked a radical break from an oppressive past and set out a vision of substantively equal, free and fair than New South Africa. The SA Apartheid Museum is said to take stock of freedom. Well-known South African uh, Eusebius Makaiser, a political analyst, broadcaster, philosophy lecturer and writer based in Johannesburg, will moderate this debate. The debate will take the format of a town hall discussion with four panelists, advocate George Bezos, Zimbali Tuli, retired judge Zaki Koub, and Ms. Gita Pather. Joining me here to talk about the debate is Deputy Director of SA Apartheid Museum, Wadey Davey. Wadey, good morning. Good morning. Let, let's talk about the topic of freedom and why it's such a pertinent topic to focus on. And also, I think the power of the panelists will, will echo that. Okay. So, um, it's Freedom Month, mm. and uh, that's the reason for the, the topic being about freedom. Um, it's important. It's 22 years since we voted. Mm. And what we now need to do is to take stock of it. Where are we? What is freedom, firstly? Mm. Uh, we all measure freedom differently. differently. And then to look at where we are in terms of what was promised and what is real today. And I think a lot of people uh, um, are really interested in, in coming to the debate simply because it's such an important topic to have mm. at this time. Um, we look at psychological freedom. We look at social freedoms. We look at uh, economic freedom and I think those are, are very pertinent issues at the moment, and I think mm. that the platform that is there for it to be discussed is important at this time in our history. I like the idea that you're saying freedom means different things to different people, yeah. but we have seen um, born freeze, the millennials all talk about this freedom, what is the rainbow nation. Mm. Uh, I know within your moderator, he's got quite... The, uh, is very, very good at being able to develop those, uh, those kind of points. Your panelists are Zakia Koub, Ms. Gita Patha, Ms. Mbalin Tuli, and Advocate George Bezos. Yes. We are talking about a really strong panel yes. here. Yes, yes. Uh, we've, we've selected them simply uh, uh, based on, if you look at uh, George Bezos, for example, yeah. he is um, a well-respected man with a very large history, something that we can only look at and say, my word, could I have done that? Uh, and he is still active, he still works at the Legal Resources Centre, he's a human rights activist in his field. And we look at, uh, advocate, uh, we look at retired Justice Zach Yacoub, he's got a history of his own, mm. uh, he comes with his own history of, of human rights. he's been very vocal over the last couple of weeks, They've been really vocal, both yeah. of them in fact. Yeah. Um, and those are the wise voices that we need on the panel. Then we also have Gita uh, Patha. Gita is an, a cultural activist and uh, she's a woman <laughs> and she has a voice and she has a strong voice and it's a voice that the cultural industry's voice has got to be heard. Mm. And it, they're one of the more marginalized sectors in society. And so we feel it's important that their voice is heard there as well. And then of course we have Mbali. Mbali is a young, super smart woman who's on the ground and who knows the issues mm. at hand relating to young people. So we think our, our, our panel is kind of broad and, and inclusive. Um, you know we're going to be having more of these debates, mm. debates throughout the yeah, year. Yeah, this is really the first of a, a, a the, couple of series. Well, it's, it's the second. Uh, we had one last year where we questioned our national identi identity. Uh, we will have one on Youth Day, which will okay. speak about the youth, obviously. And then it's the 60th anniversary of the Women's March in August. Okay. So that will be a big one as well, which will speak to women's issues as well. But this is also, uh, in many ways, an extension of what the Apartheid Museum has always done, is to, is to stir debate, is to get um, citizens to think about the role that they play uh, in various, uh, various moments of our history and where mm -hmm. we're going. That's true. Um, the physical exhibition is an experience in itself mm. and uh, it, we, it's always been our vision to provide uh, more public programming mm. so that people could engage in a more active way uh, with the exhibition and with each other. And so we feel that the museum is the ideal platform mm. to host these types of debates and to, and to open it up to the public and say, come in here, feel free to mm. speak your mind and who knows? Who knows what can happen from there? Maybe it's a catalyst for active citizenship. We don't know.
but it's a space. Let's talk about the public very quickly because it does have a town hall debate structure. Yes. So it's not only the panelists that will no. be able to share opinions, insights, but you're, you're, we're hoping a very strong public yes. reaction that will be able to share their experiences Absolutely. as well. Absolutely. We have, um, I think the, the formal program where the panelists will give their views is about 40 minutes and the rest of the hour and 20 minutes is for the audience to, to question with. and to engage with the topic, yes. Okay. If you're uh, interested, you want to come, where can you go? And you where go are the tickets available? The, it's free of charge, so okay. you can just, you have to phone in, and it's too late to send emails now. Uh, phone in, and it's the telephone number is 011-309-4700, and just give your RSVP. There's very few spaces left for this particular one. Okay, that's awesome. That's Deputy Director of SA Apartheid Museum, Wendy Davy, talking to us about their upcoming debate, which will focus on issues of freedom. To find out more, you can log on to their website. It's www.apartheidmuseum.org. Uh, you'll get the details there for the museum as well. As uh, Wendy say, it's too late to send an email. You've got to call because the uh, seats are going thick and fast.